This is question number three from Pure Math 4, Pearson Dexel level exam. Uh, this exam was taken on January 2024. Let us start this. The graph is given here. The curve C shown in the figure one has the equation y square x plus 3y equals 4x square plus k and y is greater than zero, where k is a constant. Find dy by dx in terms of x and y. So first part, it's very easy, simple derivative. We will differentiate this function with respect to x. Okay. Let us start with this question. Then we will read the next part. First part. That is y square x plus 3y equals to 4x square plus k. Here we will apply the product rule because two variables are multiplying we will use the product rule. Here y square is the first function and second function okay. We will write the first function as, as is and take the derivative of the second function x that is 1 plus write the second function as is take derivative of y as by using power rule it will be 2y because we are differentiating with respect to x so derivative of y you must write it again so it will be dy by dx okay so here we are applying the product rule plus derivative of y is dy by dx so you will write it as 3 dy by dx and here 2 will multiply with 4 it will be 8x and derivative of any constant number is 0 now we know that here dy by dx is common and we will keep uh, this y square to the other side. So this 2xy plus 3 and common is dy by dx and this one will be 8x minus y square. Because this 2xy plus 3 is multiplying it will divide the other side implies that dy by dx will be equals to 8x minus y square divided by 2xy plus 3. So this is the answer for the first part. Okay, for the second part, the point P, P comma 2, where P is a constant lies on C. Given that P is the minimum turning point. So P is the minimum turning point. Okay, uh, find the value of P. You know that uh, for minimum turning point or maximum turning point whenever it is given like that for minimum for maximum or if he is using the word stationary point uh, we always take the first derivative dy by dx equals to zero okay so this is a big hint for these type of questions so let us start to find the value of p and we know that p, this p is the minimum turning point so for second part for minimum for minimum okay uh, we know that dy by dx equals to 0 uh, you can use minimum turning point and uh, p is uh, the coordinate of p is p and 2 okay these are the coordinates of p the minimum turning point dy by dx will be equals to 0 and uh, we know that uh, this one so what is the first derivative we already got in the previous part that is uh, 8 sorry it is 8x 8x minus y square over 2xy plus 3 equals to 0 because this is the first derivative you can put over there 0 implies that we can use here 8x minus y square equals to 0 okay this will multiply and you will get rid of this denominator we know that uh, this where this one is x and this one is y so you can replace with uh, x with b and y with 2 so it will be 8 k minus 2 square equals to 0 therefore 8p will be equals to 4 this 2 square goes to the other side and p will be equals to 4 over 8 and simply simplest form will be 1 over 2. 
Okay, so this is P. P is one over two. Okay, so this is the first part. For the second part, we got the value. You know that now the coordinates of P are one over two and two. Okay, uh, this lies on C. What is C? Uh, C is y square. This this equation. This is the equation of uh, this curve. Okay. To get the value of k, we have to use the values of x and y. Okay, here. So it is equals to y square x plus three y equals to four x square plus k. Use the values of uh, x and y. You know this is x and two is y. So it will be two. 2 square into 1 over 2 plus 3 into 2 equals to 4 into 1 over 2 square equals to k. From here you will get the value of k. Simplifying 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 plus 6 is 8. So overall it is 8. So this is 8. And this is 1 over 4, 4 is cancelled with this one, it will be 1 plus k. And k will be equals to 7. So this is the answer for the second part. Question 3 is done. Again, if you have any doubt, uh, any question, please ask me in the comment box. Thank you.